Uh, hello YouTubers, hello everyone. Uh, I just uh, wanted to today talk about uh, this thing here. So if you can come close here, uh, it says shaft version, drive shaft version, torque tube. Everything torque tube today. I ordered two torque tubes. One came from Greek. And that's how much I paid. So 70 euros. That's about uh, uh, 100, 120, 180, whatever, Canadians. And other one I ordered from this guy here, which is in Switzerland. I paid double, 145. So it's a 200. So this is 110 and this is 220. And exactly the same thing. I, I even think that this one from Switzerland is more damaged from sun. But as you can see, it's the exactly same product, same thing. But why did I pay so much money? I paid so much money because this is really hard to find. This is Gaui, 200, and it comes with a belt. So nice belt system, right? So it works flawlessly. Has a belt here, has a like a, the main, like uh, it's not shaft. It's about the driven tail, and it works very, 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 very awesome, perfect. So why would I pay so much money to get from belt driven to tail driven shaft? You think it's crazy, right? But I think it's come from this side. So yeah, so you see better. This is a crown and, and this is a mechanism here, right? And it works so smooth, right? Up, down, up, down, up, down. That's the same thing like with a belt. But just you can notice that this system has a longer tube, which has to reach, like if you record here, so yeah, just a little bit. So you can see it has a longer tube to support this crown directly uh, compared to this one, like on the top, right? If you compare these two guys, this is the belt and this is the, the driven shaft torque tube with the gears. So this one works perfect, as I said, but this one also supposed to work Perfect, because look at that. When I was a child, my neighbor, my good friend uh, back in Bosnia, uh, he, he was having a small helicopter, not like this, just a small tiny helicopter with some metal pieces. And probably it was just a, you, you run it on the, like uh, you push it on, on, the, on, the, on the floor or the ground and it's connected. I just remember I don't know how, I just pictured this and I know that this is something similar like this. Probably it was like a very primitive version of this grinding on this and mechanism and the tail was spinning. I'm not even sure, maybe that mechanism only just was for, for, for the wheels and on the main rotor. But uh, I liked it. I always wanted to have, I couldn't have it and now I wanted to find something and I found only two places. One is in Greece in Greek, in Greece, <laughs> areas, area SRC, and the other guy is in Switzerland for the double amount. So I spent 300 Canadians for these two tubes. <laughs> They're exactly the same, right? <laughs> Just because I wanted to fulfill my dream to have a small helicopter with a torque tube, tail, driven shaft. And, and that's that you can record this, I think behind, so you can record how it works. And that's basically the, if you use the normal one, you need to flip it up, upside down, because you have to use a special, uh, I'm gonna go to that part, because the crown is here, you need to meet this guy here. Oh, oh, yeah, this one here. I already opened it. This one, is, this one is open. So I'm not gonna hold, show you whole the process of 
assembling it, just this is a very important thing, very important thing. So what I need to do is to put nine tooth, nine tooth one, this is 15 teeth, and this is a nine teeth, or nine tooth. Put it instead of this one, in order for the crown to reach this one, right? So to reach this one, but not to touch the upper 15, just to reach the nine, because this one is gonna be spinning like this way, and it's gonna turn in the shaft like this way, that way, away from the rotor, counterclockwise. And that, that's gonna be nine tooth, right? It's gonna be spinning this way. And the 15, will be spinning this way and it's going to be spinning the shaft which is here it's going to be spinning shaft like this and that's a one-way bearing so for the thing so small to work you need to have this thing here which is the puller or the pusher and when i get to that when i get to this i'm just, just going to use this thing here to extract extract uh, basically without this there is no way you can do it because that's a yellow pass, uh, part is a brass so I will have to go around and just jam it inside and push it away this thing is gonna I'll show that make a short video when I'm to that point but I just wanted to show how this works really really nice <laughs> I'm doing something just because I love it and I want to make uh, take advantage of it and also maybe you notice that this is a carbon fiber right that's the original piece and this this that, that's the second one I already took apart so exactly the same one right and uh, it comes with a carbon shaft and I already purchased before aluminum shaft and as you can see if you put it like this down and up they exactly the same they exactly same height right so no problem about this this is aluminum of course that's gonna bend and this is bendable and it's carbon fiber uh, so how did they do it inside they just did it very good like on the big helicopter much bigger helicopter so this one in the middle, like that's middle, and you have small indentation here, like which creates the nipples on the inside of the tube. That's the one bearing. This is one bearing, and that's the other bearing. So you can see here, one bearing is here, one is here, and one is here. So that's if you put it like in the middle then it goes all the way I mean obviously it goes from this side so one bearing goes here like other other girls or boys and another one goes in the middle and the third one and the third one yeah, I cannot find it, uh, but I'm gonna find it later. It goes there, and then you can see it, like a small, like holes over there, which creates the small nipples here. So when you use this, like the, let's push this one out. Yeah, when you use this, uh, the, exactly the same bearing when you push the bearing there it's gonna be stacking over there in the place it's not gonna all the way down so which is amazingly amazingly clever and then you can see the reason why this thing is so expensive basically it wasn't expensive before that much maybe but uh, it's so hard to find and that's it and at the end you just need to put this small piece back and the crown goes into this spot of course 
aluminum version, I love aluminum version, has this uh, area flattened and then you can just go this way or this way and push it here and that's it. That's gonna be it. So what's the difference between these two? Other than the bending capability of the, it's a little bit, you would think the carbon is light, right? And it is light, but <laughs> guess what? Carbon is a little bit heavier in my case, 3.5 and the aluminum version is 2.8. It's not big difference, right? It's not like a huge difference. 3.6 and this one is 2.8. Anyway, why I love aluminum? Because this thing, carbon fiber is very flexible and it's very strong. They say it's stronger than the steel and it's gonna come to its place. If you bend this one, it's already, it's gonna be out of shape. But what I'm planning to do is the cut with this thing, probably on this side, because it's gonna be easy to reach that, right? Cut, cut it here, just a tube cutter, and you go around, around, twist it, and then use uh, the clutch system. Put the tube, in between these two and put the clutch maybe like uh, two centimeters one and a half centimeters long and it's still gonna be enough big enough to go here I'm gonna be putting like probably right around this here so it's not gonna vibrate that much because it has one two three supports and three uh, like you should bearings and in case if I hit something with my tail it's gonna just go a little bit and it's gonna uh, give away a little bit. It's like a clutch system. So it's not gonna break this delicate gears here. What we have, what we have here, it's not gonna break that. And hopefully it's gonna be working like a charm. So that's a lot of money and lots of time and everything. But yeah, that's why I bought two of them because you get extra for another one. And plus, I want to show you this. Uh, this is a carbon fiber and this is a aluminum. That piece is aluminum and that piece is carbon fiber. I was thinking maybe there is a reason because I already happened to break this apart and I didn't crash it. It happened in on the ground. So ground resonation broke this pieces. Can you imagine this? This is pretty strong. And broke that tail case pieces from the other airplane. And it's the uh, helicopter. And that's the piece right here. Just because I was like, uh, preparing to fly and it was hovering and it was not hovering, but just uh, uh, hitting the ground and ground resonation, just poof, whole, whole tail box came apart. So maybe that flexibility from carbon fiber, it's gonna give enough uh, giveaway for the vibration and you know, it's gonna be working better. Who knows, maybe that's, that's the why, that's the reason they did it, they put it. So, when I go to the assembling, I'm going to show you the whole process of the assembled. I'm not going to go because it's going to take too much time. But I wanted to record this because it's so hard to find. And right now, there is no other place in the whole planet to buy the new pieces. Torque tube uh, for the Gaui 200 SD version, shaft driven. Other than the, you know, this guy here. I think they still have it. Helicopter Baumann in Switzerland. And that's in, it's very expensive. I could have buy $300 like a, the brand new a helicopter, like a, a S-150 blade, which is perfect, very, very good helicopter. But I always wanted to have like that shaft driven heli in this size. And finally I'm gonna have it. <laughs> Second part. 
when I finish that, it's gonna be second flight. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. If you want to see how it flies and how it's done, or how does it look with the brand new old. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I ordered this one. See the sun damage. This is this is supposed to be like a red, like completely red, and it's not. This is original color, and that's original color. But that's the sun exposure or just light UV damage. But I, I hope it's gonna be fine with it because it is one way high performance main gear sub set for shaft version 203543. And that's the original version uh, which came with the kit. Right? Because this is the belt version, so you need to flip it upside down. Okay, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching and thanks my wife for recording me and have a nice day. Bye bye.